Hi, welcome to another unboxing video on awkwardhamster.com. Today we have the Buffalo Link Station Pro Dual. It comes with two one terabyte hard drives. If you use them in a RAID 1 formation, you can get two terabyte storage out of it. The reason I got this is because the Windows Home Server Edition, they're roughly about $400 and up. This one uses their own proprietary operating system and it cost me $261 from Amazon.com. The Link Station Dual Minus the Pro, that goes for about $200, but this one was rated with a higher processor. I believe it was 1.6. It didn't say on here, but the ones, the, the other one come with uh, also two terabytes, and it was supposed to be not as fast as this one. The other logo for the other one does not have a V. This one, this one does. It says it has a free web access app for the iPad and the iPhone. I'll have to check that out later too. We have our network cable, BNC adapter, some warning, it comes with a CD that contains the a network navigator and some Buffalo tools. It's uh, smaller than I expected. I'm sure if you can see this, it says function, USB, auto on off, network adapter, power, not sure what this is for, here's for a lock and a uh, fan. Well, let me just power this up to see, and see how much noise this will produce, I'll be right back. I plugged in the power cable to the Ethernet Pro Dual, as well as Ethernet cable. I flipped the switch over here to the middle, which is on. Don't flip it all the way to the top, or else it will be set to auto. During setup, you don't need it set to auto. The other end of the Ethernet, I connected it to my network hub. I'm not sure if you can hear the fan noise right now. It's definitely audible. You wouldn't want to keep this inside your bedroom or anything. Now let's insert a CD and run the installation software. After you log into the admin console, this is the first page that loads up. It's the shared folder. What I want to do is set the RAID to a RAID array of 1 rather than 0. So I'll go to my system. Then I click on storage.
it shows that right now I have on my array one is set to rate zero. So I want to get rid of array one and perhaps rebuild it. Because I don't really need two terabytes. I'd rather have the uh, safety of a RAID 1. I'm going to delete this one. It's asking me for a confirmation before I can actually delete the array. Let's verify the confirmation now is deleting. After I deleted the drives that was associated with the first array, that brought me straight back to the shared folders page, essentially the main startup page. So now I'm going to go back into the systems. Click on storage. I'm going to scroll down the window here which says RAID Array. I'm going to click on RAID 1, ar Array 1. Scroll down where it says RAID Array, Array 1. I'm going to highlight both this one and this too. We can drop down and choose RAID 1. Now I can click on Create RAID Array. Apply. Ask me for verification. Right now, it's just changing the RAID array. Excellent, now it's done. So now if I go to my NAS navigator, let me just hit, just hit refresh. Now it says RAID 1, and I only have one terabyte of space. Perfect. Well, I guess the only next thing to try is the uh, what was advertised on the box regarding the iPad app. It says free web access iApps from the App Store. So I have my iPad right here. I searched the App Store for just Buffalo and one of the results that came up was the right here web access IHT it's free See when you register link station. Yada yada. Well I don't need to figure this out later, but good news is it's free. I heard that there's other softwares out in App Store that that would do the same thing, but they charge 
five dollars for it. I, ho I hope you like this unboxing of the Buffalo Link Station Pro Duo. This model I got came with a two one terabyte hard drive. I can either configure it in a RAID 0 formation where I can access two terabytes of storage or I can configure it for RAID 1 that way I have redundancy and it's always a, a backup safer. The RAID 1 is slower than a RAID 0 so there are, there's pros and cons to either of them. Buffalo was nice enough to provide a free web access application for either your iPhone or your, or your iPad. The unit costs $261 from Amazon.com. If you have any questions, feel free to post or send me a message. Thanks for watching Awkward Hamster.